Short people think they have life tough, but we tall freaks of nature suffer as well. Our dancing looks like an epileptic fit. During sex, all we get to see is the pillow. And people always ask, how's the weather up there? I usually spit on them and say it's raining. The big problem with motorbikes is the cockpit is designed to fit the average person. Too short, you can't touch the ground. Too tall, and you have to squeeze yourself onto the bike. Cedric, our anorexic Gumby, is here to show us the problems of being too tall. When standing in the correct default body position, he has to crouch more than the average rider, which is a lot more tiring. It also puts his body weight to the rear more, which can affect the center of gravity. When sitting, Cedric is forced to sit more to the rear, exactly where you don't want to sit. When he slides forward to the correct position, it is very cramped and his feet are vulnerable. If he moves his boots back on the pegs to a safer position, he is even more cramped. And this cramped position makes the sitting-standing transition very tiring. A tough situation when good enduro technique requires sitting and standing constantly. So here are the bike setup tips to make that triangle, or the cockpit, bigger. Mount the bars forward. Most European bikes provide two or three positions on the top triple clamp. Other bikes, you may need to buy an aftermarket top triple clamp. I have used the Rocks pivoting risers very successfully as these push the bars forward and up as well. Remember though, too far forward and your handling is affected for the worst. Bar risers and high bend bars I've done a whole video about those, just watch this video link. Move your foot pegs lower and further back. The Fastway foot pegs from Promoto Billet are the most popular ones and several of our team use them. Some claim they change the centre of gravity too much or hit in ruts sooner. But we haven't found any issues yet and love them. Tall riders might have very small penises, but we usually have big feet. Consider getting some larger foot pegs too. A higher seat is good for many tall riders. You aren't as cramped in the sitting position, and the sitting-standing transition is easier too. Try strapping a cushion on your bike first and see if you think it's worth buying a tall seat or not. Some tall riders say a tall seat makes it easier to grip their bike with their knees, too. Steg pegs. Not everyone likes these, but I love them. Tall riders are pushed backwards and forwards on the bike more, and these take all the strain off your upper body. Watch this video link for more info. If you have big feet, it might be worth getting a longer gear shift lever so you aren't changing gear by mistake. Some guys suggest increasing your wheelbase by messing around with your chain length and sprockets to move the rear wheel back as far as possible. I don't know if this helps, but figured it's worth mentioning. Got plenty of money? This spacer kit from Two Tall Racing lifts the tank subframe and bars to increase the length and height of the bike. So why do top riders often argue against some of these mods? Top riders are super fit and even very tall riders like David Knight leave their bikes completely stock in terms of bars, seat and foot pegs. However, I think the majority of us are much happier to have some comfort on the bike and possibly sacrifice a bit of performance that our Gumby skills can't reach anyway. As an experiment, yesterday I rode a completely stock bike and today I am aching all over from the extra work of squeezing my tall frame onto a stock KDM 400 EXE. Personally, I will go for these mods every time. How about riding technique? taller riders. 
grip the bike more with your legs. In our coaching, Birchie said to focus on gripping with your lower legs. Try pointing your toes in and gripping the bike with your ankles. If you do fit a taller seat, you may find you can grip the bike more with your knees instead. Body positioning. Generally, you will be less cramped when standing, and most of us sit far more than we should when dirt riding. See our video here about body positioning. There are actually three different positions for your boots on the foot pegs. The more you ride on the balls of your feet, the more room you will have on the bike. See our video about foot positioning here. What about bike choice? Look, there are long debates about this. Personally, I haven't found any dirt bike that feels more comfortable. To me, they are all far too small unless I do my Frankenstein mods. All I can suggest is try riding different bikes and see if any of them feel better. So, good luck all you tall freaks of nature, and remember, ride tall. Any more tips? Let me know, I'll include them here.